Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today, we're gonna show you how to remove the bloatware off of your Sony Xperia Z. Okay, now a quick background on bloatware. Bloatware basically is just a term we use to describe all of the stuff that is put on the phone before you turn it on. Uh, so this includes things like the T-Mobile apps that T-Mobile puts on the device, your carrier, whoever they may be put on there. Um, some of the, the stuff that the manufacturer puts on there. So for example, Sony puts on their own little proprietary movie stuff and games and all that kind of stuff. A lot of the stuff eats up the memory on your device and also can slow down the device if it's always running in the background. So in this procedure, we're going to show you how to remove certain ones that you want to remove and leave certain ones that you want to leave in order to speed up the phone and free up some memory. Now this procedure does require root access. So if you don't have that or don't really know what that is, you need to click on the link underneath this video on our website or head to our website, go to How To's Android Sony and then the name of this phone uh, and you'll see all of the how to's for that. One of them will be how to root. You need to do that procedure entirely and then come back to this one to continue. Okay, then on the device, we're gonna go to the Play Store and we're gonna search for no bloat, one word. Tap on the free one, hit install, hit accept, wait for that to install, and we can click open and say grant for super user permissions. And then we go into system apps and you can go through this list and pick any of the things that you don't want. Um, for example, civil alerts, I don't think I really care about. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to back up and delete and hit OK. And then just continue to do that for all the other apps. Once you're done there um, and you've run the phone for a little bit, maybe reset it or not reset it, restarted it uh, and everything seems to be working fine, then you can go into backed up apps tap on it, and then say delete backup and hit OK. This way, if there is an app that you delete accidentally, um, you could come in here and hit restore to put it back really quick. If you delete it directly from the other screen, then you won't be, have a way to put it back. It's a pain in the butt to have to go search for the APK on the internet, etc. And that's it. Just go through this entire list and delete whatever you want. And um, if you ever want to back, take them back from backup. Um, also, they won't totally get rid of all of the internal storage space that they are using until you go into backed up apps and delete them from here. So delete and do a backup for all of the apps that you aren't sure about. Then once you know you want to get rid of them, come into backup apps and delete them permanently. And that'll free up all of your internal storage and get rid of all that pesky bloatware that the manufacturer and the carrier have put on your device. Enjoy. And there you go. Now you're all set. You should uh, have removed whatever bloatware you wanted to and the device will run a little bit faster, you'll have a little more storage space, and everybody's happy. Besides the carriers and manufacturer whose crap you just removed. But who cares about that?